Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to use actions in Photoshop Elements 11. Now if you have version 10 or older, I'm sorry you can't do this, but they did add actions in Photoshop Elements 11 and these are the cool things that you're going to be able to do with it. You're going to give a picture a shadow that makes it look three-dimensional and there's also another one right here where you can turn a picture into a fan. Now I want to thank, first of all, the Pano FX company right there, they will give you free downloads under the free Photoshop actions. There's all sorts of great ones in there that you can download and I'm going to show you how to upload the actions into Elements. I'm going to close the union flag here and not save this and I am going to reopen it over here under my open recently edited over here. We have a picture of the union flag right here and I want to turn this into a fan using one of the actions supplied by Pano FX. Well we need to go down here where it says more at the bottom right hand corner and there is a drop down arrow. We're going to select actions right now and as you can see there are a few actions that are given to us right off the bat. Well I want to load an action and how we do that is we go to this little area with another drop down arrow and we select it and we go to load actions and that's how we get to it. Here's the action for the bent photo, the three-dimensional looking picture that we have here, but I have another one over here and it is called the flag. Under pan FX flag, it gives it to you in English and in German. Now you select the action which is a .atn file and you select open and what you will see is at the bottom there is a folder and there is the action so you need to click on the action and then you hit the play button right here it's going to give you some instructions and you need to follow these instructions carefully depending upon which action you download I'm gonna select continue and then I'm gonna fast forward this I don't know how long this is gonna take but I'm gonna fast forward this and then we'll show you the end effect okay now it's finished now all the different actions are not gonna take as long as this one this one took a little over a minute most of them have instructions and they take a little bit less than 15 to 20 seconds so I'm going to hit stop right there so that you can see the little fan that we have here and it was really great because I didn't have to do anything except load the action. Now if you like that one let's go back to the other one I'm not going to save that from Melissa Miller I'm going to close that one out and then I'm going to reopen that from scratch and I want to thank Alyssa Miller over at Flickr for letting me use this photo using the Creative Commons license. This is a great photo here I love using it I'm going to add another action over here. If you don't have the actions palette, once again, you can go down here where it says more, click the drop down arrow and select actions right here. Once again, there is another drop down. This is where a lot of things are hidden from Adobe. If you click the down arrow here, we're going to load another action. That one is in my downloads area. Now when you download these from Pano FX, they are going to be in zip format. You'll just have to unzip them. It's in a compressed format. And then after you unzip them, they will be in this file folder structure here. Now I'm going to select border and bend. And as you can see, there are a different set of border and bends. One is convex, concave, and then there's three other ones that are in there that give you that three-dimensional effect. But I really like this discrete one. I'm going to select play right here. Now you notice as I said it's going to give you instructions and it tells you that it's going to use the Gaussian blur filter but it gives you a preview so after you hit continue you're going to have to select the amount of blur you want in your photo so I'm going to hit continue and as you can see right there it is fairly blurred I might not want that much blur in it so I'm going to take that down I kinda like that much blur I'm at about 7.7 .7, and then I'm going to select OK and then when it's done it gives the little splash screen saying that who it's by and there we have it so there's a lot of great 
different effects that you can use by going over to Panos FX. They also have some paid ones, but I'm, right now I'm showing you the free ones. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and pass my video on to your friends. Cheers!